International together with the International Commission of Jurists, the European Union Centre for Constitutional and Human Rights, and all the key stakeholders on Thursday held a press briefing ahead of the trial of an alleged Gambian Ted squad member in Germany. Now, the virtual meeting was also attended by uh, German victims. Usman Jata tells us more of that in this report. It is the last hope for many victims. Their fear every day is that it is all going to come to naught. I urge this government to implement every single recommendation that will come out of this commission. Yahya Jami has been widely accused of committing gross human rights violations and abuses in the smallest African country during his two decades of rule. These crimes range from unlawful arrest and disappearances to killings and torture of innocent Gambians. Fatumata Sandeng and Baba Haidara both lost their parents during these dark days. These victims are optimistic that justice is inevitable. Everyone involved in my dad's murder uh, will face justice, just like Bailo is facing justice these coming days. Um, we won't stop, we won't stop until each one of them is brought to a court of law. We had expected that the Gambia sets a pace or a good example in persecuting these people. But we have seen that the junglers who had come on the TRC and confessed to killing people um, are being released in the Gambia. This is shocking to victims themselves. An alleged member of Jamis death squad, Bailo, was arrested and detained in Germany in 2021. The accused is charged in three cases, including crime against humanity, which is captured in Section 7, Paragraph 1, Number 1 of the International Criminal Code, ICC, in conjunction with murder, whereby one case remained at attempted murder. The accused is alleged to have been a member of a former special unit of the Gambia Armed Forces called the Junglers which allegedly carried out illegal orders from the former head of state to kill and torture Gambians. His trial will commence on Monday, 25th April. His trial will be conducted under universal jurisdiction. This means the German courts are holding the trial on behalf of the International Criminal Court. Andy is a member of the European Centre for Constitutional and Human Rights Group is not only in an important step towards accountability for the crimes of the Jami regime, it also shows why, um, why universal jurisdiction is important. Because since a crime against humanity is at issue, the court will have to look beyond the individual responsibility of the defendant to the systematic and widespread attack that has been committed against the Gambian society by the Jami regime. And the court's assessment may thus pave the way for future proceedings against Jami, because one should never forget that the principle of universal jurisdiction implies that German courts are holding trial on behalf of the international community. Some legal experts believe the only way the Gambia can avoid the reputation of impunity is by enacting a new constitution and holding alleged perpetrators of human rights of violations to justice. It is not just enough to have reparations, it's not enough just to have reparations and, and say it's okay. We must, those who are really responsible must be accountable so that in the future it will, it will deter others, it will deter others from committing the same crimes. To make, to make sure that in Gambia we cannot tolerate people treating anyone in this manner, that is impunity will not be tolerated again. And the only way we can make sure that impunity is not tolerated again is by having prosecution. It's not by I mean, having reparation or reconciliation. You, and you can have reconciliation, of course, but you can have, in my opinion, you cannot have real reconciliation without justice. The accused Abilo is said to have been a driver of the junglers, whose alleged aim was to intimidate the Gambian people and suppress the opposition. Specifically, in three cases, the accused allegedly drove members of his unit to such liquidations and then drove them away again onwards. The 5th Criminal Division with the High Regional Court, or LG, with the decision of 24th March 2022, allowed the main hearing regarding the indictment of the Federal Public Prosecutor's Office against a 46-year-old Gambian citizen 
and open the main proceedings. For some victims, this is the beginning of their victory to justice. Osman Jata, AFRICA News.